Uh, before I uh, start the next presentation, I would like to briefly uh, report about the uh, uh, progress of the work of Subcommittee on Geodesy and uh, Global Geodetic Center of Excellence. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we originally planned to have an uh, uh, update about the uh, uh, UN uh, GGM Subcommittee on Geodesy from Johannes Baumann. But uh, unfortunately, he cannot attend that today's meeting. So uh, I'd like to uh, briefly uh, mention about the progress made uh, in the uh, last session of UNGGIM. Uh, the UNGGIM had an, uh, its annual session in uh, uh, August, this August, as in a virtual format. And the uh, uh, subcommittee on geodesy uh, uh, submit, submitted two papers about the uh, uh, global geodetic reference frame. One is an uh, uh, sustainable uh, 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 implementation plan for su sustainable global geodetic reference frame, frame, and another one is white paper for a uh, global geodetic center of excellence. And uh, uh, this uh, global geodetic center of excellence. Uh, was uh, supported by many member countries, and the uh, UN in the United Nations is uh, now uh, agreed to uh, establish the center at the UN campus in Bonn, Germany. And uh, uh, so Johannes uh, was pr planned to make a presentation about this progress uh, in detail. But the uh, Global Geotech Center of Excellence, uh, it is uh, we are still not sure when it will be uh, established, but uh, uh, expect it to be uh, established in uh, early uh, next year. And uh, uh, as the center, uh, together with the subcommittee on JDC, uh, is expected to work on the uh, sustainable uh, global geodetic reference frame, uh, including the uh, network uh, special coverage issues uh, uh, as Mike presented in the uh, presentation today and other uh, uh, issues and challenges such as capacity development, uh, governance, outreach, and uh, policy and standards. Uh, this is a very brief uh, summary report about the progress about a Global Geodetic Center of Excellence. Uh, does... thank, thank you very much, Bosawa. I would like to add something. Um, yes. We have the slides of Johannes Baumann uh, uh -huh. already, and it's also available at the Chicas Cloud. So everyone who is interested can uh, watch it there and download it there. Okay, and uh, uh, I think uh, many of the uh, the participants of this meeting uh, uh, attended the UN Geodetic session too. So, if someone would like to add uh, some comments about the progress about the uh, Global Geodetic Center of Excellence and also the Subcommittee on uh please make some comments. Okay. So, hopefully, hopefully we will have an uh, update from Johannes in the uh, future uh, GIGOS and IAG meetings. Uh, Basara, may I have some? Yes. yes. Uh, hi, this is, this is Allison. I, I know that some of our speakers for the geohazards topic are still mm -hmm. not logged in okay. yet. Um, okay. Would it be possible actually to go through Johannes' slides? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So Martin, could you yes. uh, show I the uh, Johannes' slides? I'm not sure I, I can explain that slide. But uh, uh, yeah, you want to jump subcommittee on Geodesy update uh, presented by uh, Nick Blau, uh, the chair of the subcommittee on Geodesy, and also the Johannes Baumann. Yes, uh, the contents are a global geodetic reference frame and the activity of the United UNGGM subcommittee on Geodesy. And the uh, uh, most important update is the Global Geodetic Center of Excellence and Germany application. And the uh, final one, next step, uh, next step, please. So as you know, uh, uh, Global Geodetic Reference Frame uh, was uh, resolved by the United Nations General Assembly uh, and uh, adopted uh, in 
2015, and uh, uh, subcommittee on geodesy is now working to uh, uh, make the global geodesic reference frame uh, more sustainable. The next one, sorry, please. Uh, yes, uh, please go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so in order to make the uh, GGRF more sustainable, uh, the subcommittee has now five uh, pillars. Uh, the first one is, of course, geodetic reference frame. Also, policy standards and conventions, education, training, capacity build, uh, building. And uh, so in order to make these uh, uh, work well, so appropriate governance is essential. And uh, outreach and communication is also very important. Uh, the next step, please. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, these five focus areas. So we have an, uh, now uh, five working groups and uh, the subcommittee on GODC. And uh, uh, the chairs of sub, uh, uh, working groups are working uh, how to uh, uh, develop their work plan and uh, uh, implementation plan. Next step, please. Yes, yes. Uh, so the GGRF uh, it, uh, involving the uh, many uh, stakeholders, uh, of course, member states of the uh, UN GGIM, uh, they are build and maintain the juridical infrastructure. And those, of course, IAG is the uh, um, important player uh, to give them the uh, appropriate sci scientific uh, uh, advice and also also operational IG services and products. And uh, International Federation of Surveyors, FRG, is working uh, to uh, to provide uh, education training and capacity development. And uh, United Nations Statistics Divisions uh, work uh, within the support member states as the secretariat. The next step, please. Yes, and uh, as I mentioned, in 2016, the UNGGM Subcommittee on GLDC established a permanent subcommittee on GLDC under the uh, Committee of Experts. Our main tasks of the subcommittee on GLDC is to develop the GGRF roadmap and GGRF implementation plan and uh, develop a concept for an appropriate governance mechanism uh, provide an intergovernmental forum, uh, maintain a uh, dialogue between member states and non-governmental international juridic community, uh, such as IAG and GIGOS, and other ta tasks addressing the five focus areas. Next slide, please. Yeah, uh, and uh, as an appropriate governance mechanism, a uh, global juridic center of excellence was proposed and uh, position, uh, yeah, that, uh, uh, in order to uh, uh, establish this uh, uh, GGCE, the subcommittee on geodesy uh, was tasked to develop uh, two papers. One is a position paper on sustaining the GGRF, and uh, this uh, paper described the current state and the future requirement of the GGRF and introduce a range of work packages for each of the five focus areas and uh, introduce the potential and the role, uh, uh, role of Geodetic Center of Excellence. And uh, uh, another paper is concept paper on establishing a global Geodetic Center of Excellence, GGCE. And this paper describes the potential and uh, uh, emphasized tasks of the GGCE. Uh, both uh, draft documents were submitted to UNGGIM uh, 10 session in 2020, and uh, after extensive global consultation, uh, of course, and IAG and she was involved in this consultation, uh, both reference documents were sub submitted to UNGGIM 11 session this August and uh, sub subsequently endorsed. Uh, the next step, please. Yes, and uh, activity of the WMGM sub subcommittee on GLDC, uh, intersessional period, uh, August 2020 to July 2021. Uh, instead of an in-person uh, plenary meeting, uh, the subcommittee held two online meetings. 
and five focus, uh, uh, five subcommittee jealousy bureau meetings, and plus subcommittee jealousy working group meetings. And uh, in March 2021, Ambassador Peter Thompson of Fiji accepted the invitation to become the subcommittee jealousy's global jealousy ambassador. Uh, broad consultation of draft position paper, uh, GGRF, and the draft concept paper, GGCE. Uh, Global Jodice Forum, The Power of Wear, The Value of Jodice to Society, uh, was held on Thursday, April 2020. And in the forum, uh, the importance and law of the Jodice uh, is uh, uh, presented to, to outreach uh, uh, policy makers and decision makers. After that, original consultation in the uh, Americas, Asia, and the Pacific, Arab states, and the Euro European regions uh, were held in, the, in each uh, region. And uh, uh, in the review and the refinement of the two papers is done. Uh, and you can see the main activity of subcommittee jealousy working groups uh, in the, this UNGGM, UN.org uh, website. Next slide, please. And then uh, Global Jurisdiction Center of Excellence. Uh, the subcommittee on jealousy was requested at the ninth session in 2019 uh, of UNGGIM to explore a number of mod modalities to balance the long-term vision stability operational requirements of the GGRF, including the establishment of a GGC in cooperation with the United Nations. Uh, the role of the current the center is to assign uh, uh, to assist in sustaining the GGRF. Uh, the role is to enhance global cooperation and coordination across member states and relevant jury stakeholders to maximize the benefit of ongoing jury efforts, ensure coherence and avoid duplication of efforts, and uh, to strengthen jury infrastructure and to assist member states in making their jury data uh, findable, uh, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, fair, uh, in line with standards, policies, and conventions, and uh, to support education, training, and capacity building, and uh, finally, to improve communication and raise awareness. The next step, please. And uh, uh, Establishment of the GGC in Germany. Uh, Germany announced its plan to host a Global Geodetic Center of Excellence in Bonn uh, at a United Nations campus in Bonn uh, with funding for an initial five year period. Uh, there are ongoing opportunities for other member states to contribute to the center. So uh, the UN and Germany is asking member states to. Uh, uh support uh, financially and uh, other uh, way to support the center uh and uh, offer the uh, uh offer of the germany german federal government was accepted and supported on uh 11 9 2020 at the uh, 10th UNGGM committee of experts and uh, uh, GGCE Germany, uh, located at the United Campus Bomb, uh, financed and supported by BKG, and uh, supported with virtual second end by Norway, and steering committee, uh, UN uh, DSAP and uh, Germany, and technical advisory committee, a subcommittee in Jodice, IAG, FIG, Space, NGOC, GEO, and etc. Ne uh, next slide, please. And the next step, uh, subcommittee on jealousy continues its activities. And a uh, concrete work package in the concept paper with support of the Global Jury Center of Excellence, support the Jury Center of Excellence to develop a work plan. Uh, Jury Center of Excellence will uh, develop participation of other partners in the uh, GGCE and a uh, negotiation between the German federal government and the United Nations uh, beginning in autumn 2020 and uh, now ongoing. Uh, negotiations on the uh, agreement uh, streaming, uh, streamlined the tasks of the GGC bond and uh, Babarnot agree upon the infrastructure on the UN campus. Uh, I think this is a final slide of the Johannes presentation. Yes. 
Yeah, uh, so, uh, I, I'm not sure I can explain the, uh, well about the progress about the subcommittee policy and GCC, but the, uh, they have great progress in this year to establish Global Geodetic Center of Excellence, and that GIGOS, uh, together with IAG, uh, will continue to support the Subcommittee Geodetic and Global Geodetic Center of Excellence.